Hey, what's going on, Sheriff? Mm, nothing much, really. I'm trying to figure out any evidence about this kid. Yeah, you hey, remember me from the, the last case that we just did? Oh, yeah, the shooting at the junkyard? Yeah. Can't believe we're here yeah. doing another murder already. And that was only, what, two days ago? Yeah. What can I say? Los Santos is a crazy place. Yeah. There's anyway. no evidence of him here whatsoever. Well, that's... that's not good. Well... No, like, no blood, nothing. Um, I spoke to the bus driver that said he last saw the guy who was getting off the bus. He was the last person off this stop. He doesn't know, he obviously doesn't know his name or anything, but the bus driver said he looked about 18, 19, so that's what we're going off right now. Alright. Do we have any identification of what he was wearing? Um, I'm pretty sure he was wearing a, a grey hoodie or a black hoodie, something like that. I'm pretty sure it was grey with sunglasses right. and um, he had like really long hair and I think he was wearing a beanie too so that's what we have to go off right. right now and the bus driver said he walked off in this direction, and then, direction. He, and then he crossed the road like so the bus driver said he stopped around about here he walked All off right. the bus he was walking this is what the bus driver saw he was walking and then crossed the road about here, and this was the last time right. the bus driver saw him. Okay. And this is the last time anyone saw him alive, off of what we've got so far. All so, right. we have another guy. Uh, we, sorry for cutting you off, Sheriff, but we have another guy that's coming out who said he heard a few things. He should be here soon. He just okay. lives nearby. Well, we shouldn't say we shouldn't say anything about him being dead, as we don't know that, and it hasn't been long enough to clarify him as dead. Yeah, I can understand that. So, what we should a couple probably couple tire marks here, though. Yeah, well, I'm not know. sure what that would be. That about. wouldn't be evidence. Well, no, so that that one over there was mine um, when I was yeah. born in, but. Yeah, I think the guy just I wouldn't classify up. this as evidence. Oh yeah, I heard a car pull up. Yeah, what I'm thinking is... We don't even know what happened to the body. Whether the body was left here or not. Yeah. Well, we hope he's still alive. Right off or something. Of course, yeah. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, hello, officers. So... So you're the one that called? Uh, yeah, I just live a little bit down. Okay. Well, okay. We, we got a few questions that you have to answer. Now, you're not in trouble, obviously. Um, we just sort of want to understand what's going on, so... Yeah. Um... So... Let's start with what you heard. Like... What'd you hear? Uh, I heard a scream and some gunshots. Okay. Anything else, or is that about it? That's about it. Oh, okay, okay. Did you see any cars? Did you hear any cars pull up or anything like that? I was not. Okay, okay. Um, you didn't you didn't see anything? You didn't see anyone? Uh, no. Okay. Um. Oh, I think that's really about. It, honestly, I mean, unless you have anything, Sheriff, that you could add. So you didn't see the car, and all you heard was sound. I guess you wouldn't see what the people looked like. So yeah. I guess right. that's all for questions. I guess all we really have is yelling, higher car sounds, gunshots. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, you're free to go, and we might have more questions later on. So. Just be prepared to maybe come down to the station if we give you a call. Yeah. And if you remember, 
If you remember anything else, this is my phone number, so. Alrighty. Well, you're, you can be on your way now, sir. So. Yeah, hey, uh, have a good thank one. You, well, I guess that settles him being alive. Maybe. Although... Maybe. I don't know, it's hard to say. I mean, there's no... There's no blood. Whether he actually died... Here, yeah. or whether the shooting happened in this specific area, or... Around the corner. Or hidden yeah. somewhere, you know? So... That's what I'm trying to figure out, right? I'm just trying to... Think... Where... Would it be? Like... How far he yeah. walked before he got shot. So... I'm thinking the... Excluding the people that were involved with this... The bus driver was probably the last person that ever saw him alive. Mm -hmm. Now... I've spoken to the bus driver, he said... What he saw... And... He doesn't have a name on the... The kid. Cause... Well, did we get a name? Did we get a name for what? The kid. With the one on the, the one on the bus. The one that got shot. Yeah. No, we didn't get a name for him. Oh. So we don't know. We only know what he looks like, and the bus driver Can we get barely. Get footage off of the camera. From off of like the bus, bus cameras. Um, I can maybe take a look at that, but. Yeah, because uh, if we can get a good, like, image of his face, we could probably find something off of that, see who he is. Contact right. some of his relatives or something. Well, Friends. if you want to go ahead and do that, um, I've got a few things to tend to, so... Um, right. Yeah, and if you find out who he is, what his last name is, talk to the people that he lives with, or his dad or his mum or whoever... Um, Friends, family, yeah. Yeah. Just let them know on what's happening. They're probably wondering what happened to him. And... Oh, for sure, yeah. I think... If we're going off by sort of what the time was, I think it was about... Oh, I'm just trying to think. I think it might have been like about one in the morning when this happened. Alright. So, if you can get that sort of jotted down just for date of death and time of death. Um, yeah, we should be good. Alright. Uh, guess contact me on my radio if you get any photos of him. Alright, and, oh, well, actually, how about I look in the store cameras and you go ahead and try and find the, the bus driver and ask if he has um, any photos from the, the bus. Yeah, alright. Alrighty. Oh, the hell was buzzing at this time? It's only like seven in the morning. Hello. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, you're, uh, Gilmore, right? George Gilmore? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, perfect. Uh, you're friends with, uh, Timothy Rhodes? Uh, yeah. What, what's happening? Alright, you're probably gonna want to sit down for this one. Oh. Right. Alright. So, uh, last week... Uh, did he tell you anything about, um, him going to Sandy? Uh, uh, not, not that I remember, no. He, he sort of just disappeared one night. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that night, uh, he was up in Sandy, took a bus up to Sandy Shores. Uh, once he got off the bus, the bus driver said, or the bus driver was the last person to see him. What, what do you mean the last and person? He was at the Ace Liquor. Crossed over the road to the Ace Liquor. 
And that was the last time the bus driver seen him. Now, we had some CCTV footage. That's how we got his name and how I was able to get to you. Right. Uh, we found a black SUV pull up. People get out. Uh, some pedestrians said that they saw, heard some yelling, some gunshots, and some driving off. So at the moment, we're presuming that he is dead. Fuck. Until we find more evidence that is proven wrong. So if you have any contact with his parents, other people, let them know what happened. So... Why did... I don't understand. Why did this take you a week to tell me? Uh, getting footage off of a bus and CCTV footage off of the Ace Liquor is a little bit difficult. And getting the facial recognition stuff to get your friend. <sighs> Fuck, man. He... He left the apartment at about five or six in the afternoon and said he was going up to Sandy Shores to meet with someone. He didn't tell us who. And... He... He never... We never saw him again. He... He left okay. and he he was on the phone to someone and it sounded like he was in a hurry. Okay. And um, he actually just got back from talking to some police officers about um, a car being stolen, or or he he had stolen his father's car, and they were sort of just asking him a few questions about it, and he came back okay. from that, and then you know we were talking to him and then. We called him. Uh, sorry, no. He received a call and was talking for a bit, and then just said, "Yeah, guys, I'll be back in a few days," and then just left, and we hadn't seen him okay. since. Okay. So that's okay. That's the last time I ever saw him alive. All right. Well, this is still an open case, so we're just. You know, trying to figure out if he is dead or not, but right now we're presuming he is dead. It's been over 48 hours, and there's been no sign of him. So we're presuming yeah. him to be dead. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put this card on the table here. This is my card. It has my number, full name, badge number, all that stuff on it. Uh, basically, if you get in contact with him, or you find any more information to push us into the right direction... Text that number telling us what it is, just so then we can solve this case here. Yeah. Okay. Understand. Do you have any uh, questions for me before I leave? Um. No, I don't. I don't think so. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll get going. I guess you get in contact with friends, family. Yeah. Tell them about what happened. Just so then they can also I guess, somewhat help if they find anything. Alright. Thanks, officer. Alright. Have a good yeah, have a good rest of your day. Oh, fuck man. Can't believe he's gone. Fuck man. Shit. God. I gotta have a fucking drink. This is fucking nuts. Man, it's all my fault as well. I didn't fucking. No, oh, if I didn't just take that RV up there, ah, oh, Tim would still be alive. I wouldn't be working for those for those goons. I. never have left. And I can't tell them. I can't tell anyone that it's my fault. If I say anything, I'll be arrested. Hopefully they don't find his phone and have a look at the last call. Because if they do, <coughs> I'm going to be done for. Oh my god. Oh shit. I'm 
My best fucking friend. It's gone. Unlocked. What the hell are you doing? Huh? What are you doing in here? <laughs> I'm here to, you know, pay you a little visit. Nice place you got here. It's not, it's not really my place, but... Look, what do you want? Whose place is it? Look, it's my mate Wills. Alright, look. Wills. Mmm, Will. Yeah, I... See, I knew that was a name on the chart where you had a list of friends and all that stuff, get out of my way. Let's see what you got in here. Um, <clears throat> got some food. Look, yeah, what do you want? <sighs> You're gonna need to pack your bags because we're gonna be leaving Los Santos for a while. What? Or San Andreas as a whole. What, what do you mean? Like I said, we're gonna meet that cartel boss, the Vargas. We need to meet him, and this isn't really going to go well if you don't comply. So I'm going to need you to pack your bags and, you know, be a like, little nice little trained dog and just get it done, okay? Where? How far is the place? Pretty far. I mean, what do I look like to you? Some goddamn... <laughs> I don't know what I look like to you, man. I'm just you're supposed to get on the plane. Wait a couple of hours, and then once we arrive, uh, once we arrive, everything will be fine. We just need to speak to the dude and tell him to stop messing with our business. And if things go wrong, you know what we know we know what we got to do. You still have that piece on you? Yeah. Look. All right. Good. I do not want to get on a plane. I've, I just had some bad news. Oh, for today. fucking who? Are you serious right now? Yeah, this I is... don't really care if your mother died or anything. I, I don't I don't really My care. My best don't friend just fucking died, alright? I'm not going anywhere, alright? <laughs> what, huh? What's so funny? <laughs> Your best friend died. Oh my god, I can't believe it. What you're gonna say? Your dog died too, or something? I I don't get it. What? I, <laughs> this is funny to me. Like, uh, what is this? Like some late a late April Fool's joke or something? Come on, dude. Yeah, this is fucking hilarious, to you, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Now go pack your bags. Get out of my way. You're a piece of shit. You, you know, know that, right? Day. Sure, I'm called many things by many people. So how long are we going for? A few days, not too long. Fuck's sakes. Might, might want to pack some books, because it's going to be a long flight. You're going to be riding with me. I've got a phone. I don't need books. <clears throat> oh, yeah, see, that's the thing. You're going to be able to turn off your phone. There's a little thing that's called airplane mode, dumbass. So, uh, yeah, let's go. I just... I'll just download music from Spotify. I've got Spotify Premium. Come on, let's go. Fine. Where the hell is your car? Follow me. So, look, <clears throat> how long are we actually going for? Right, I've got things to do. You got. You don't have nothing to do. Like I said, I own you. You don't have no life. Um, like I said, you, you just you just don't have anything. You don't have nothing to do. You have no friends. You got nothing. Anyway, if your friends really need you, um, my associate can handle them, okay? Fine. It's a pretty fancy club. I, just, I, I, I don't get what's so hard for you to understand. Like, when you say you have things to do, I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't really get you, you know? Like, 
I, I, I just, I don't understand. You have Look, no life. I've got, I've got family. I've got friends. I hang out with those friends and I hang out with those family members. So, I don't, I don't understand why you think I do nothing at all. Yeah. And you know, my buddies, you know, how, how's your, how's your father doing? Um, I, I haven't seen him for a bit, but he's okay. Yeah. I know, yeah, because I, I, my buddies have seen him, you know, we spoke to him, see how he's doing, all that stuff, and, you know. You spoke to my father. <laughs> yeah, we spoke to him, yeah, for sure. I, I, myself, I actually spoke to him, yeah, I, I gave him a couple of dollars, you know, I would say at least like 15 grand, keep him on his feet. What is, what is that supposed to mean, huh? I'm just saying that, you, let's just say that your father is a better person than you are. You know, and me and your father actually, you know, went to dinner. We actually got along, talked about some deals. See, most of the money that you're earning, it's gonna go all to him. But he doesn't deserve it, though. <laughs> and you do? Well, he can't, well, okay, first of all, I'm the one that came up with the product that you're using. Second of all, I'm working for you, all right, the product that I made, I'm, yeah, you're see, getting that more money. product and has been stolen. Yeah. I know your little secrets and stuff. I went deep into you, all right? I actually saw a lot of stuff, researched everything. Well, and not to mention, he kicked me out. He doesn't want anything to do with me. <laughs> okay, well, you know, maybe it was because you guys were doing bad stuff, you were doing bad stuff, and you didn't respect your father. It's not really my situation to really you know give my opinion on it but like i said i'm giving him money and that's how it is you know i write i'm, I'm not i'm not gonna give him most of your cut but i'll give him half half so how the f what the fuck like this is the money i'm working for and i didn't even agree with this well it doesn't matter what you agree with you know life isn't fair uh you know my father had to teach me that way until i got him down so you know yeah. Kill Jordan. Hey, it is what it is. No more questions. Alright, we're here. Jesus Christ, I thought we were actually getting on a proper, like, plane. I don't... Private jets aren't private safe. private jet, you idiot. Well, they're not safe. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what isn't safe? Bringing you on onto my jet. How is that not safe? You're a threat, you know. More than anything. I should kill you right now. Whatever. Can I just quickly go to the bathroom before we go? I'll be two seconds. Hurry up. Alright. Waiting fine. on you. Hey, sorry I'm late. Finally. Alright, okay. let's get this show on the road, guys. So how 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 far away is this place? Oh my god, how many times are you gonna keep asking me that? Um I don't know. It's gonna be a few days. I mean, goddammit, it's Colombia. Uh, you, you, San Andreas and Colombia are so far away you don't even understand. So it's yeah. gonna be a few days we're gonna be in here. I understand that, but just fuck. Okay, just shh, whatever. I don't Look, know what you're so panicked about. I'm just, I just want to know how long it's gonna be on the plane for. That's all. I'm not trying to. You know what I mean. I'm just, I just want to know how long it will be until we'll get there. Okay. You know what? Let me put it this way. <clears throat> You're going to listen to me, and that's it. You know, I, I tried to be as easy as possible, but you're just going to listen to me. That's it. You're not going to listen to your friends, your father, nobody. Anyone in your life, you're going to listen to me. So when I tell you to do something, you do it. And if your friend, you know, kind of objects that, I don't, I don't need that type of attention behind my neck. So, well, I'm going to easily pop 
Are you saying you even kill my friend? Yes, I will kill your friends, your family, because I won't kill you because you are a priority. I need you for this business. But I will kill your friends. I'll kill anyone in your life. I'm just... All I was asking is how long it's going to take to get there, alright? And now you're threatening me by killing my friends. Yes. Well, that's... That's, th that's stupid. Yeah, you're stupid. How am I stupid? Huh? You're getting in this business. Ah, finally. Jesus. I haven't been on a plane for this a while. The champagne in the back, water, all that stuff. Um, do you have Wi-Fi? No, we do not have Wi-Fi. What kind of private jet doesn't have Wi-Fi? You can watch stuff on the little tablet there. Keep you fucking busy. I don't... I don't want to. I'm just gonna use my phone, you know? You're not gonna use your phone. Why? Because I said so. It's a security hazard. Fuck. You got a problem with that? No, no, I don't. It's fine. Just forget about it. Fuck, we we're up high. We we're up really high. Oh, Jesus. Wait. Were you afraid of heights or something? Um, maybe if I was outside of the plane, hell yeah, I would be. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, I don't know, like if I... I was outside of the plane. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just... Like, you know how like when you're on a building or something... And you're on the inside and you think... God, I wouldn't want to be out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, shut up. You asked me the question! Wait. What?! what the Wait. Hey, what's going on?! Fuck! Wait. What the? Where the pilots go? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. I do you know? Do you know I how to fly this thing? Okay, hold on. Hold on. God damn. I, I don't. I don't know how. Fuck. We gotta get out down. of here. Ah, God damn it. I don't know what's going on. Sh uh, we gotta go. We, we gotta. I think we gotta jump out. Let's go. Ah! Fuck. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> 